Hello everyone, this is Mudra Survey. In this video, we are going to see the important questions for your final exam in the subject of basic electronics. So in unit 1, these are some important questions. First one is give difference between analog and digital circuits. Okay, then state different types of electrical signals and draw all types of waveform. So in this, we have you have to state the different types of signals with the waveform. Then third one is with the help of circuit diagram describe conversion of voltage to current source. Fourth one is state advantages of integrated circuits over circuits with discrete components. Fifth one is state different types of resistors and state any four specification. In this question, we have to state all the types of resistors that is fixed value, variable value resistors and you have to state any four specification. The next is you may uh, given the color code of resistor or you have to find out the uh, value of resistance. For example, red, red, orange, blue. So you have, uh, by referring this color code, you have to find out the resistance value. Then same like resistance determine the value of capacitance with the color code then next question is what is the color code for 220 ohm 10 per plus or minus 10 percent tolerance next question is this question asks for two mark define the register and draw symbol of variable register then define different types of ic's that is integrated circuits Draw symbol of inductor and capacitor and their unit. State advantages and disadvantages of integrated circuits. Then list types of signal. You have to list out the types of signal. That is square wave signal, ramp signal, okay, triangular. Then define active and passive components. This is related to unit 1. Then about unit 2. Draw and explain reverse bias VI characteristics of Zener diode. Then draw and describe working principle of LED that is light emitting diode. Then third one is sketch and explain block diagram of regulated power supply with waveform at the output of each block. Regulated power supply block diagram with the waveform. Fourth one is draw and explain center tap full wave rectifier operation. Then similar to that, uh, similar to that, also you may get bridge wave rectifier operation. Then define PIV, TUF, ripple factor, efficiency of rectifier. The next is draw and explain VI characteristics of PN junction diode. Like Zener diode, these are the related to PN junction diode. Then draw and explain circuit diagram and operation of bridge rectifier. Okay. As I said earlier. Then sketch construction diagram of light emitting diode and describe its working. This is important questions. Then comparison between PN junction diode and Zener diode. Then next one is draw and explain Zener diode as a voltage regulator. Then state need of regulated power supply. Why we use regulated power supply? Okay. This is the question. Then define filter and state need of filter in regulated power supply. Why we use filter in regulated power supply? This is the question. Then next one is write application of PN junction diode. This what? In which application we use PN junction diode? We have to, we have to write down in application. Then unit 3. In unit 3, there might be asked about explain construction of NPN transistor with diagram or PNP transistor with diagram. Then draw and explain voltage divider bias network. Then this one is important that compare CB, CE and CC configuration of BJT that is common base, common emitter and common collector configuration. This is the important question that we have to differentiate this. Then fourth one is draw circuit diagram of single stage RC coupled CE amplifier and describe with 
input and output waveform. Okay. Next is draw output characteristics of common base configuration and explain working. Then next one is explain concept of DC load line and operating point for biasing circuit. This is also important. Then describe working of transistor as switch with circuit diagram. Then this is the numerical might be value get change but the question is same you may given the beta value then leakage current value and they might be asked for collector current and emitter current then next one is application of bjt this might be asked for two marks then define alpha and beta what is alpha and beta in transistor okay this might be asked for two marks only then list type of transistor and draw their symbol so npn and pnp and you have to draw their symbols then unit four the four marks questions are draw construction and explain the operation of n channel jeffet junction field defect transistors construction and their operation then draw construction of MOSFET and explain its working. Then sketch N channel MOSFET and describe its working. Next one is give relation between AC drain resistance and transconduction and amplification factor. The next is state advantages of MOSFET. Okay, then define application amplification factor and transconductance of JFET. Next one is draw symbol of N channel and P channel enhancement type MOSFET. This might be asked for two marks. Draw symbol of N channel and P channel JFET. So one thing you have to understand that you have to you have to buy hard the symbol of every electronics component. Okay. Unit 5. Draw a sketch and describe working of resistive transducer. Then this is also one, one of the very important questions that explains Seebeck effect and Peltier effect. This is most important. Third one is define strain gauge with diagram. And in every diagram we have to label it properly. Without labeling the examiner doesn't give you any mark. Okay. Then fourth one is describe LVDT with labeled diagram. Next is state any four selection criteria for transducer. What are the selection criteria for transducer? We have to explain any four points. Okay. Then differentiate active and passive transducer. Any four. So in this we have to differentiate active and passive transducer. Any four. If it comes for four marks then we have to at least indicate 6 to 8 points if it is for 2 marks then 4 differentiate points are sufficient then next is define analog transducer and give examples like analog they may ask define pass a digital transducer and give example then define transducer and name to passive transducer ok they might be asked active and passive transducer also. Draw construction diagram of piezoelectric transducer. Okay. So, in this question, we have to first draw the diagram of piezoelectric transducer. And then we have to explain the working. The next is test function of proximity sensors and photodiode. Next one is define transducer and name to active transducer. Okay. Like passive they might be asked for active transducer also. Next one is draw symbol of photodiode. So these are some, some of the important questions in your syllabus. So if you go through this question, you get 100% passed in this subject. Thank you. If you have any doubt, please watch our videos. 
एंड प्लीज़ कमेंट इन कमेंट बॉक्स थैंक यू सो मच